Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made a mess out of this sketch using the new color pastels. This is water soluble and the other one is water resistant. Both are made by Karen Dutch. Let's take a look at the reference photo here. Um, I've actually used this for some other tutorial before. Anyway, I will draw this cathedral or church with pen and ink. And for the plants, the trees, the grass, I will draw them with the water soluble pastels. For the clouds, I will block out the white clouds with the white resistant, sorry, water resistant pastel, and then paint these um, gray areas with watercolor, and then paint the rest with watercolor. The sketchbook I'm using today is this spiral sketchbook made by St. Louis Art Supply. So it's a small piece of paper, watercolor paper. Let me just do a quick ink drawing first because today I just want to test out the mixed media capabilities of the new color pastels. I will leave this area open for the trees. So sketching this does require some planning in advance because I need to leave um, those areas for the water soluble pastels. The ink that I'm using is Sketch Ink. It's waterproof and dry. And this pen is the Pelican M200 fountain pen. This set that I have um, has 15 colors. So I'm going to be using these two colors. Let me just quickly put some green for the grass. Now this is watercolor paper. It has a cold press texture so it's kind of difficult to actually fill in the valley of the, fill into the valley of the paper. You can see there's a lot of white. Hopefully this will dissolve um, nicely later on. Actually now that I think of it, um, I could probably just use watercolor and paint instead of using this um, pastel. For the white clouds, I'll be using this water resistant wax pastel. It's actually quite difficult to see whether or not I've drawn onto the paper. Let's paint the church first. I actually chose to draw this because um, this building doesn't have a lot of colors, so it's easy to color. And now let's paint over the sky and see what happens. So now you can see the water resistant wax pastel, it's doing its job. I've actually covered more wax here, so let's see how it looks. Maybe I can use tissue to remove the water later on. Because right now it looks very splotchy. I'm not sure if this is the effect I'm looking for. So those pastels probably should work better on fine green paper rather than on rougher watercolor paper like this. Okay, let's try and dissolve this water soluble pastel. It dissolves quite easily. I'm not sure how light fast the color is. Anyway, I'm using this in a sketchbook, so um, it should be all right. I don't have to worry about the colors fading. Let me mix this with a little bit of magenta to make it darker. For the background buildings, I'm just going to paint them with watercolor. I need to make this part a bit more. Let's see if we can dissolve the pastel like that. It's easier if you apply it onto the paper. Oh, okay. You can wet the paper first and then draw, in which case it actually looks kind of nice. 
Now to add some finishing touches. I was actually expecting the water resistant pastel to block out the water completely. But because of the paper texture, it's not able to do that. So it doesn't work like masking fluid, basically. After you paint over the pastel, it seems like it's quite permanent. This is the Posca marker. Posca markers are fantastic for adding details because they use opaque paint. This is the completed sketch. It looks very messy. It looks like there is no plan at all and the colors are all over the place, not in a good way. It's actually kind of difficult to get all the colors to work together to create color harmony. This phthalo green light color from the pastel, it's a bit unnatural. The pastels that have not dissolved, they will create this texture. Whereas this wash here, this was painted with just watercolor. So you can see the look, it's very different. You see some texture here as well. This is the same sketch where I painted with three primary colors. The colors, they work better here together. And also there is more white that contrasts against the colors whereas here you can see the whole page is just filled with colors i will need to practice with them more but so far what i can say is these are best used on smoother paper like fine grain paper or hot pressed watercolor paper all right if you happen to be using the new color pastels let me know what you think about them maybe i'm just using them wrong so i need to experiment with them a bit more before i give you guys my full review thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye